Uh, 7.48 <laughs> is the time now. Uh, how good are we at complaining? I suppose that's the question this morning. Steph's been having a look at it, in, specifically in relation to social media. Yeah, it's the difference social media has made to how we complain and the impact it's having. Uh, morning, everyone. Yeah, up until a few years ago, the only way to complain really was uh, uh, to go privately into stores, into shops, or through a customer service department if you weren't happy from the service you were getting from a company. Well, now with social media, uh, we can make our complaints a lot more public using sites like Twitter and Facebook. And recent figures show that it can be pretty effective too. A third of adults in the UK have used social media to complain about stuff. That's double what it was two years ago. And in the last year, people who have complained have received discounts and free gifts worth up to £140 million. That's not each. You won't be surprised to hear. On average, that's around £32 each. Uh, and it's not all about sharing bad news either. Two-fifths of us have praised companies on social media too. Well, with me now is Helen Judney, who's creator of the Complaining Cow blog. Such a good name for a blog. I always <laughs> love saying that whenever you're on. Um, Helen, it, just tell us about the difference it's made. It's it's a lot to do with things being public and everyone being able to see these complaints, isn't it? Yes, I think it's also about speeding things up. I think a lot of people find that when they go to customer services, they're not getting a reply or it's taking a long time. So quite often they go to social media and that speeds things up. So it depends if the retailer or the trader is actually good and their systems are all tied up so they can communicate properly. So it will speed things up because they're being bad mouthed on social media. So when people do complain on social media, does that is that then it or do they then have to go through the formal process like they would have done anyway in the past? I think they still will because unless it's a very, very simple complaint, 140 characters isn't enough mm. to explain your complaint. And also you can't give your personal information, but it does speed things up. So you can then put it onto a direct message or an email and, and give all your details there. And do you think companies are good now at responding to complaints because of social media? Do you think that's made them better at it as well? No, I think some are improving. I think some are improving as they realise what's happening. But certainly I'm still hearing from people that they're, they're calling companies out um, on social media and they're not necessarily getting anything back and they're still having to sort of chase the CEO or, or whatever. Mm. Um, but it is improving, but it is, it is for retailers to actually clock on that, that that's the way that people are complaining as well now it's another tool and we know you're great at complaining what what's your advice for people who are, are making complaints to make it more effective um, certainly you, you start with customer services I think social media is there for, for quick ones or to chase things so you want to be objective and polite um, and be very clear and logical in your complaint and make sure you, you say exactly what you want whether it's a refund or replacement and provide the time scale in which you expect to to hear back from mm. them and what you'll do if you won't which might be going to an ombudsman like the furniture ombudsman or energy or financial or the going to the small claims court and if you don't get success then go to the ceo use the ceo website and get the details and contact because although the ceo might not respond it will go down to his or her team which is uh, you know higher up than customer services so it's about using different techniques really mm. interesting how many times do you reckon you've complained now too many, too many <laughs> characters. I don't bother well, That's why we well. love having you because you're so good at it. Thank you very much, Ellen. Nice okay, to see you. you. That's oh, it for me. Good at complaining, hey? Uh, thank you both.